That's the stuff. It's my life blood. Hey, Riley's bottle. Mommy's bottle. Riley's bottle. <laughs> Can you say good morning, peeps? It's Riley Rue coming with another video. What do you think? I say good morning, peeps. Let's do one of mommy's videos. What do you think? Yeah. All right. So, I um, just got Knox off to uh, school, and so this video is like what I eat kind of in a day, trying to lose some weight, eat healthier, take care of my body, get it repaired from like all the damage that happened when I got really sick after I got um, had Riley. So just trying to be healthy and eat whole foods and all that good stuff. Um, so I start my morning every morning with at least one glass of water before I put anything else in my body. And usually that glass of water has lemon in it. That usually happens pretty quick because I have Riley and the kids and all that kind of stuff. So that's already happened. And I've already had two cups of coffee, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so during the week, uh, when I had to get knocked up to school, I don't usually eat like a full breakfast until I get him on the bus. Like I give him everything he needs. I make his lunch, I get him off uh, on, the, on the road kind of thing. Um, and then Quinn and I, because she takes a little bit longer to wake up in the morning than Knox does, Quinn and I will have breakfast um, after Riley's had her bottle and kind of get on with our day. So that's what I'm gonna do now is make us some breakfast and uh, yeah. Let's do it. All right, so that's it. Pretty quick and easy for breakfast. Quinn already had some strawberries, so I just got her some scrambled eggs and a couple tomatoes. And for me, I have um, some avocado, just lightly tossed in some lemon juice, a couple pieces of prosciutto, two uh, eggs, and a couple tomatoes. So this breakfast is totally like Whole30 compliant. Um, if you're doing a program like that, um, just make sure your prosciutto is nitrate free. So make sure you're reading your ingredients. And uh, instead of frying eggs in butter, you can fry it in ghee. But other than that, you could totally make these this breakfast like a Whole30 compliant or um, you have like paleo or any of that kind of stuff. All right. Oh, Miss Riley's still napping. Hey, boo boo, sit up, please. Hey, buddy. Phone down. Sit up. Take your plate. What? What's that? Egg and tomatoes. <laughs> so I just realized it is lunchtime. I completely have been so busy trying to um, get some blog posts up and just work on my site and stuff. Um. Yesterday, Knox was home, not uh, feeling so great from school, so it was an extra uh, kid at home with me yesterday, so not as much got done. Um, and he was like super into like me playing games with him and all that kind of stuff, which is is, is great. Um, but then not much else gets done, so. Um, and my hobby worked really late yesterday, um, so just one last set. <laughs> Sorry, the camera's, she's flailing and the camera's going. Um, so yeah, Miss Ratty Rue's gonna have her bottle, and I think Quinn said she wanted some noodles, and I have leftover bolognese sauce from last night, so I'm gonna make something up with that, I think. What do you think, guys? Are you hungry? All right, let's, let's cut to lunch. <laughs> All right, so, um, I ended up using the leftover, some of the leftover bolognese from last night's dinner. And um, I just threw a sweet potato in the microwave. And then I, um, I think two minutes each side, I poke a hole in it. Um, my husband or kids don't like sweet potatoes, so whenever I want to eat it, I need to kind of eat it for myself. I mean, they're so good for you. I know if you're trying to avoid carbs and there's sugar in them and all that kind of stuff, but it's a whole food. It's really filling. There's a lot of great nutrients in sweet potato. Um, and there's not much in my bolognese sauce, so I kind of... Is that hot noodles, baby? Okay, well, don't open your mouth like that, Chew, please. 
um, for my bolognese sauce, um, I saute up some onions and some garlic, and I throw in either just beef, but last night we used a beef and pork mix. Um, and um, then once that cooks, I throw in some seasoning, so some herbs and spices, and um, then last night, because it was a lot of meat, I put in a whole can of um, stewed diced tomatoes and plain tomato sauce, that's it. And then salt and pepper to taste kind of thing. Um, so not a lot going on in there. So again, pretty simple, limited ingredients, not a lot of additives or anything like that. Very like good. Uh, um, so I'm going to enjoy my lunch and maybe watch a little bit of a show. Um, take a break from like staring at my site. I keep looking over there because that's normally where my camera is. Anyways, uh, so I'm going to eat because I'm hungry. And Riley's like done with being in her chair so she's got me to pick her up soon. Alright. Alright, so um, it's around 3. Um, so Knox will be getting home soon. Um, Quinn just asked for a snack and I've been feeling kind of hungry. So I thought I'd make myself a little snack. Um, I got these. Uh, they're Prana Maple Almonds and they're made with real maple syrup. These are yummy, yummy, yummy. So like other than the actual like maple syrup that's in here, there's no added like additional sugar, which I find some candied nuts, um, there can be quite a bit of it in there. So I really like it and it's got a really nice smell and taste to it. Um, and I really like the Prana line. I got these from well.ca, which is one of my favorite um, online places, not even just online, it's one of my favorite places to go to get healthy snacks, to get supplements, to get, um, like I'll order my Vega protein powder through there and all that kind of stuff. Um, I just know that the stuff that's there, they have a lot of Canadian brands. Um, so yeah, so that's where I order a lot of my stuff. You'll see a lot come through here from that site. Um, and then a couple of dried apricots. Um, this is definitely healthier than having a chocolate bar. Um, and not that I'm counting calories, but I did portion out a bowl. Um, because if I put that bag of maple almonds beside me at the computer or at the TV, it's going to be gone. I'll eat the whole thing and not even realize it just because they're so yummy. It's going to go fast. And same with the dried apricots. And yes, it is fruit, but they're dried so the sugar content can be a little higher. So they're good for you and they're yummy um, and they'll satiate like my sweet cravings um, but it's still like if you think about one of those little dried up things is a whole apricot so if you eat like a bag full of them you're eating like a bag of apricots right anyway so that's a really nice snack and some water that's pretty much it for snack time um if there's anything I talk about in this that I do have a link for, um, like like well.ca or any of that kind of stuff, um, I'll leave it in the comment in the comment section. No, that's where you leave stuff. I'll leave it in the description box below. Um, so if there's anything that I'm talking about that you like, um, or if I mention a recipe or any of that kind of stuff, um, I'll link it all in the description box. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go eat this. So, I finished up my recording yesterday for my dinner, and all you could hear in the background was little Miss Riley throwing a fit, um, because I put her in her playpen so I could make dinner for everybody, um, and she was not having it, she wanted to be held, um, so I thought I could probably, like, edit part of that out, but you just did, it just did not work. So I will insert a picture of what I made for dinner now.
I batched cooked a big thing of chicken breast. I took half of it out um, for just have cooked chicken breast in the fridge for lunches and all that kind of stuff. It keeps my portions kind of in check and it keeps healthy things uh, ready um, uh, for me in the fridge, especially on days where Riley's fussy or Quinn's not feeling good or Knox is home from school or any of that kind of stuff. Um, so I cooked up some chicken breast. Um, I then I took that out of the pan. In the pan I tossed in some onion and some garlic, sauteed that up with some creamy mushrooms and some mixed bell peppers. Um, threw the chicken back in once the veggies were cooked with a um, Szechuan pepper sauce. It's from like, a, it's a blue dragon package. I got it from um, No Frills I think. Um, but it's a pretty common uh, company they have a whole bunch of different um, uh, seasonings and sauces it's called Blue Dragon um, toss that all there and then put everything on white rice and that was dinner and I really try not to eat after dinner if possible um, and that way kind of it's kind of like intermittent fasting I guess where you go you know like about 12 hours without consuming anything but also usually if I eat after dinner it's like a snack stuff and it's not healthy so um you can see all my dishes behind me those are clean by the way <laughs> uh so yeah so if you like this type of video please leave me a comment in the, the if you like this video give me a comment in the comment section below give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel click on that bell so that you get notifications for new videos um I'm working on, I do have um, a better camera and I'm working on setups so that way when I do uh, food um, videos in the kitchen, I have a better setup for it. Uh, so yeah. So if you have a recommendation for a video type down below, leave it in the comment section below. I can't even speak anymore. I need coffee. Alright, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.